Hi guys, welcome to Betty. This time we're going to adjust the servo motor's position. So the very first step is to take care of the switch or a trigger. That's what the part that is shown is called. So you need to use M410 screws that you need to pass through the plastic part. Don't forget to remove the plastic protection on this. Take the nuts and screw it tightly because this trigger part is a mechanical part that uh, fits inside the fire room. Okay, once done you need to insert the mounting hub, the metal hub that uh, will enable to attach the trigger or switch on the servo motor. So do it exactly as shown on the picture. Once you inserted all the screws, so you got four screws, M3, that are provided with a servo motor, you need to screw it very tightly as well. And this is how it looks like when it's finished. Now let's take care of the retainer. Again, take the metal hub, add the four screws that you uh, insert and, and screw it very tightly again. And voila. Now the important part, switch your body on to get the initial position with the servo motor. So let's start with the retainer. That's the servo motor on which you will attach your retainer, as shown. The retainer's position shall not be horizontal. Um, there is a low inclination as you can see here on the image. That's a good retainer low position. At the other side of the retainer is this plastic O-ring, 6mm that you need to insert here and then block it with a screw. It has to go through a little hole on which you have to screw a nail stop nut. So you need uh, an Allen key, and pliers, in order to uh, rotate. Don't screw too tightly, cause uh, you will bother the retainer's movement. And you see we have switched off Betty. In order to um, move it a bit, the retainer on the upper side to uh, ease the screwing process. But don't forget to switch on Betty back. Yeah, here is much better. Once you are happy with the position, you can attach it using a little screw on the servo motor's shaft. It's time to attach the trigger on the switch, so you shall have in mind this uh, nominal position. If your battery is switched on, you shall be attaching your uh, trigger to the motor shaft. So yeah, you need to force a little bit and screw tightly. So now it's the time to adjust switch and retainer's position to make sure your battery is working properly. So you need, in order to do that, first to connect with a laptop or a computer to Betty Wi-Fi network. It's a free network without a password. So use your browser and enter the following command. Switch backward or forward or retainer up and down in order to adjust the position. And you will see in real time switch and retainer's position um, changing and they are sealed and saved in a body file system so most of the time the parameter that you need to change are related to the switch you need to set it backward one or two times depending the yeah the servo motors you may have you have some slight change you need to test an experiment on your side now you can connect to body and launch some basic sequence. This is how retainer and switch shall be moving. Thank you very much for listening. Have fun and ask questions on Betty Forum. Cheers!